Determining the stability of a beam is very important for the FE exam and that's why we're gonna go over it today. Oh yeah, everybody now. So a couple weeks ago, we covered concepts and equations that help us analyze the stability of a beam, right? And if you guys haven't watched that video yet, make sure that you guys watch it first and then come back and then attempt this problem. Okay guys, so we are giving this beam and we want to determine if it is unstable, stable and determinate or indeterminate. And if it is indeterminate, we have to also determine the degree of determinacy. Okay. Now, the first thing we got to do is find the reaction forces. Here we have fixed supports and then also at D we have the fixed support. So when we have a fixed end, which means we're going to have R is going to be equal to three, right? Because we have A, Y, A, X and moment. Same thing at support D. Okay, so that gives us a total of six reaction forces. Now, if you guys need to review the types of supports and then the important equations and concepts that you should know before you take your FE exam, make sure that you guys download this cheat sheet that my team and I just created and it is 30 pages long. It has really important equations and you guys don't want to miss it. Okay, so make sure that you guys download it. Now, back to the problem. Now, the next step we need to do here is we got to compare the 6 to 3, right? Remember, we covered this in the concept video. Now, 6 is greater than 3, right? Which means we have an indeterminate structure. Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, we know that the answer is going to be either C or D. But we have to determine the degree of determinacy, okay? Now, the way we determine the degree of determinacy is we take the reaction forces and then we do minus 3. So here we're going to do 6 minus 3 and that's going to give us 3, which means we have an indeterminate beam by 3 degrees. So the answer is going to be D. Now, let me explain what this means a little bit. So we have three equilibrium equations, right? We have the summation of the forces on the X, the Y, and the summation of the moment. Now, we cannot use statics to solve for this beam here, okay? Because we're going to need another three equations on top of the equilibrium equations to be able to solve for this beam, okay? Now, Usually, to solve for this beam, we would have to use either the slope deflection method or the force method. And these methods, you don't need to know them now for the FE. You can worry about them when you're about to take your PE, okay? Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you guys want me to go over the stability for trusses, go ahead and comment below trusses. And if you guys are looking for study material that will help you pass faster and earn more, make sure to check out our courses where we cover everything you need to pass your FE exam faster. And before you go, make sure to check out this 90 free FE problems playlist, which will help you with your preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.